What's up Rocket Nation? Johnny Rocket here with another video. In this one, we're gonna talk about how to doggy paddle. A lot of you guys have been asking me to teach you how to doggy paddle. While I don't normally teach this to swimmers, it can be helpful, especially if you wanna swim without getting your hair wet or you're talking to friends, you're in a lazy river, something like that. Being able to doggy paddle can be helpful. So let's dive right into it. We're gonna start with the kick in this video. Kicking is the flutter kick for doggy paddle. You do a little easy freestyle flutter kick. Now, don't bring your legs up too high in this step. You don't need to be splashing the water. It's okay to keep your feet underwater on a downward angle so your hips are kind of lower in the water, which is boosting you up. That's what's keeping your head up is that angle and the momentum that we're about to use. If you bring your feet up too high, you're gonna find yourself getting water in your mouth or around your nose and that's uncomfortable so keep your legs lower it will be easier to keep your head higher now as for the arms when you use your arms the way that little kids do it is they just scoop they just scoop what as i do it when i'm treading water or if i do a little doggy paddle to get to a swimmer that i'm teaching from the water i'll usually do it like an extended freestyle pull but under the water so i'm reaching farther out than most people would for doggy paddle and i recommend this reach out and pull off to the side a little bit. When you pull off to the side a little bit like this, it keeps you balanced. It's pushing you side to side, which makes you feel a little bit more balanced. When you're going straight forward, you might sometimes feel tippy when you lose momentum because like a boat, when it picks up speed, anything in the water that picks up speed rises in the water. As Soon as it loses that momentum though, it's gonna start to sink. So as you're pulling, it's okay to pull off to the side a little bit since we're not pulling very hard. And when you bring your hands forward in the water, there's no real perfect way to do it. I usually go with the least amount of resistance. So I angle my hand like a pizza slicer right down the middle of my pizza pie. And it'll look like this. Well, that's all there is to doggy paddle. If you guys wanna send me a video of yourselves doing it, I can always analyze it for you. A lot of you guys, subscribers, have taken advantage of this. You've sent me your videos in WhatsApp or in an email. I love it. We'll always respond. I've got other coaches on, on staff too that can respond to as many of those videos as you wanna send. Hey, if you found this video helpful, splash that like button, subscribe to the channel for free, and consider becoming a member today. Check out the merch over on our digital store and follow us over on Instagram, TikTok, Snapchat, and Facebook for shorter clips and tips throughout the week. If you wanna get in contact with me directly, you can text or email me right here. If you want your own private swim lessons in person or online, head over to our website and sign up today. Now let's get ready to rock.